What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. For all my returning subs, thanks for joining me as usual. Anybody who's new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell on the right-hand side of it so you get notified of the newest videos. All right, guys, we're going back to Sol 2765. And guys, guess what? Wait till you see this photo. Oh, my God. Talk about completely void of any details. You guys are going to need your magnifiers on this because I cannot zoom in too far, and you'll understand why in a second. Let's have a look. This is what we got, guys. Check this out. What? And you can see up here, it is 2765. You guys will get the link as always. You don't have to go looking for it. Every time I see a photo with a grid pattern over it, right off the bat, I think complete garbage. They're trying to, I mean, first of all, look at this thing. It's completely whited out. In fact, we'll zoom into this. Let's go way in. Look at this. Look at the grid pattern put right over the top of this. Seriously? That's to hide and void any kind of details in here. Now, the area I'm really interested in is not so much this right here the whole picture uh which is you guys will recognize this by this side here check this out remember this right here this piece and i'll go over this in uh, photoshop for you guys where we had that weird structure had these pieces they almost identical on each side it's almost like they like they're on a cliff and they're looking down at this because the other view we had it literally had like you are almost level with the front of this uh, so-called mountain and these other mountains right when i see this here this like this background oh, it's like come on look at this completely washed okay we're gonna get into that a whole lot closer so hang on for that but look at this if we can if we can keep all of the details out you'd be none the wiser you won't see anything unfortunately this is what makes it hard to really zoom into it but we do get past this trash let's jump into this this was the size of the photo guys this is the size it is now this way we can zoom in without too much difficulty and we can see whatever details we can pull out of this right so Again, this is the part I want to see in the back. Now, funny enough, let me show you guys something which is pretty interesting. This is the piece I was telling you about before. If you guys remember correctly, this went up like this. This had this weird kind of piece here and then came down like this here on this side, almost like it was symmetrical, right? And it had this weird piece over here. It was just really weird, right? Okay, again, We've seen this before. We've dissected this. There's a whole bunch more on that. This this background, and I'm almost positive it did the background as well, but it went way over to the left-hand side here. We're going to go not quite that far, and you can see the photo doesn't go that far anyway, right? Let's jump into this. Let's just see what happens. Let's get right into this. Here's your grid pattern. What? Now, guys, you got to ask this question. Why would they put a grid pattern over something? It's a simple raw photo, as they claim. Now, when I look at this, I see what looks like lines here. Coming down from this so-called mountain or butte. You know, you can see them right here. This is what got me interested in wanting to really tear this piece apart, right? You got this piece up right here. You can see a very, very faint. Kind of doing this here. And you're going to see this takes on a whole different characteristic when we really get into this photo. Now, let's just get into this slowly. Okay, right off the bat. This is what I was talking about before. You got this piece right here. And you can see this line very good at first. Let's zoom into that. Again, you can see the pattern. It's kind of like hurting your eyes, but we're going to get rid of that. Again, this piece going down like this. Coming down like this. Goes across here. Okay. And there's a whole bunch of other lines down here. You can see one down here. I don't know if you guys can see this yet because it is really difficult to see. Unless you're on a larger screen. Right over here, you're going to see what looks like some kind of weird structure coming up and i don't think i got this quite right on it but you'll see that in a second now let's keep going into this because we're going to make this we're going to what we're going to try to do is we're going to take this area down here right here and what we want to do is we want to try to bring all of these details out if we can right all right so it's starting to get a little darker now let's remove this grid pattern and see what we can find but before we do that check this out this is cool because you start to see these lines what even though we get this grid pattern look at this right here Now, this isn't white, but you will see what I'm talking about. Again, use your magnifiers, guys. Pause this anytime you want. In fact, I'll zoom in a little bit. Pause it. Again, this weird pattern is messing with our eyes. We're going to take care of that right now. Watch this. Boom. Okay. Now, have a look. You can start to see these lines coming up like this here. And again, this isn't white, but that's okay. 
Now, you don't see a whole lot right now, but you can start to see something right there, and then it kind of stops. Don't see a whole lot more. Very faintly, you can see something doing this, coming up, going across. Kind of looks like it does this, goes back over, and then back down. Of course, that's really sloppy, but you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Again, here's these, these lines are in these photos, guys. Check this out. Let's go up here, go over. Kind of goes up and over to the back. You see that? What you'll find is down here, it appears to be a bunch of tiny structures. This whole area is full of them. Once this is enhanced, fully enhanced, it's going to be darker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, and then we're going to back way out. And that's when you're going to want to use your uh, magnifiers because you're going to see what looks like all these little crazy structures and what looks like this almost looks like some kind of weird bridge when you see this right here because this goes back like this here as well almost to the back, and it looks like it's covering a whole bunch of these little structures underneath. You might say, what? Hang in there. Watch this. Back out just a hair bit. Okay. Now, you can even do it right now and have a look at these spots underneath here. These pieces up here in the back. Okay. And like I said, we're going to get into this a little more. Let's keep going. Okay, now anything that was whitened or had a lighter signature, you can see like right here is a good example, which I said is this looks like this weird kind of either bridge or overhang or something that covers these things. Anything that was whiter, we just try to make it whiter, get more detail out of this. There's something right here. I'm not even sure what to make of this. Not even sure. Right here. Again, we have these lines right here. Going across, now you start to see something else doing this. Now, this straight line right here could be part of this grid pattern, right? Again, look at all up at the top here. You would not notice that unless you really started to enhance this photo. This is when you really start to see this. But this is the reason why we try to get rid of this grid pattern so we can bring out more detail. Also, check this stuff out right here. Look at the way this thing does this. This one, and again, there's like multiple things covering smaller items if you will in addition check this out whatever this thing is you can only see parts of this because guys this has been manipulated over you're not supposed to see any of this none of it okay again use your magnifiers okay let's go to the next one which is more in the back you can see where i've got more detail out of it okay now let's go a little bit more again we brought out you can see with these this one right here this is what i was talking about right here Notice the weird like L shape going up, over, kind of does this, and then goes back down like this. You can see that it's light right there. You can see that white piece. Now watch, I'm just going to enhance it. Anything that's already got a like a little bit brighter signature, all we do is just made it brighter. That's all we did. See this? That's all we did. Okay, that's the fully enhanced photo. Again, what is this piece? Well, it looks like it's just kind of laying there, dilapidated. See it? What are these pieces? Check this out. Going like this. We have this piece here. It looks like it's off the ground, and it looks appears to be pieces underneath it. We've got these pieces going like this. And again, check out this piece here. Right there. We have these multiple things in this photo that clearly are not natural. Again, we have this piece here. Coming down. What it does, it appears to be doing this. Coming down over here. I mean, if this is, if this is natural, that's got a funky way of shape being shaped like that. See that? What the hell could that possibly be? And again, I'm seeing pieces that look like they're just kind of laying down on a hillside. Uh, all these other pieces in the background. What could this stuff be, guys? Something over here is kind of weird looking. Right here. And multiple things up here in this hill have these weird patterns. I don't know if you guys can see this stuff, but check out the way these things do this. Like, you got this... I don't even know how to explain this. Now, keep in mind, because this stuff is actually manipulated, this could be anything. This could be like just they blocked out something and chose to block it completely out. This right here appears to be almost square. Uh, 
right? Going like this. And there's something sticking right out of the top of this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but have a good look. Like I said, I want to zoom in a little bit, but it's going to start to break apart. And this is what I'm trying to avoid. But check this stuff out. Again, I can see this line coming down like this. Nice, smooth right here. It goes up and then back down. Almost like something bent. Whatever this may be, there's something coming down like this. Separate piece right here, but it's doing this. But I see something right here that's kind of looks like it has a white signature to it coming down. Going like this. Looks like it has a corner to it. At least it looks like it's a sharp corner. Kind of go like this. Going like this here. And again, I'm going to circle these here. Whatever this stuff is, again, we're seeing parts of bits and pieces because, again, we weren't supposed to see this. So by them putting the spot blurring all over the top of this stuff and then putting this grid pattern over it, there's a reason. There's no reason in the world you should ever put a grid pattern on a photo. For what reason would it be? Now, guys, I'm no professional photographer, but what would be the reason to do that unless you were trying to hide something of any detail? This would make sense to me to do this. After seeing the stuff that's in this, you can understand why they would probably do that, right? Yeah. Again, this I don't know what to make of this thing. Just the shape of this. It's coming down, going like this. We just kind of see it disappear. At least the rest of it due to this manipulation. Or this is stuff that was actually built into the hillside. You can see something what looks like a couple little white squares inside this, this housed area, if you will. And again, a bunch of the stuff underneath this, what looks like some kind of, I'm going to use the term, looks like a kind of like a bent up kind of like boardwalk kind of thing. Doing this and coming back down. But it's going on the side of something that looks like a structure right here. Let me see if I can do this. Kind of looks like it's doing this. Now, again, let me back out. Now, guys, don't forget to use your magnifiers on this because you can find some cool little details. Now, do not go that far from your screen within an inch. The more you back out, the more you're going to see that grid pattern, right? We don't want to see that. We want to see details. We don't want to see any kind of other things like the grid pattern popping out with it, right? And just look at some of the stuff in here. It looks structural or multiple structures sitting right in this part, and it's being hidden right in front of our eyes, right? Whatever this stuff is, clearly, again, it just it's not natural. And again, this is that weird rock or butte type thing. Going like this. You know, we can find all kinds of what look like kind of structures all the way around this thing. We had all kinds of pieces right here. And this is when we did a video a while back, right? And again, don't forget to take a look at the top of here, on the top of this or this face of this hill, whatever that may be. I think a lot of this stuff has been squared out, and then they put a texture over it. So anything they want to block out, they can do that. But this here is what really had me interested in this, this whole area right here. I'm going to go in as far as I can without it being... That's about borderline right there. You can't go any farther than that. Or oh, this grid pattern is starting to take over on this. We don't want that. Again, this is what it looked like, guys. Just like this. Look at this pattern. You can't even zoom into this. So it literally breaks everything apart and you can't see anything. We don't want that. Again, start to see all these little lines coming up over like this. Not sure what to make of this is two piece or it's just part of this whole object right here. And it almost looks like there's something going back and forth, like something like a bridge type thing, like a Tonal bridge. See that? Like that there. See it? It's now darker, but you can see that, right? Again, have a look right now with your magnifiers and look at all the little bits and pieces underneath this area, like I said. Just these weird parts just popping out of nowhere. And you can see that this thing is not natural. Look at this. That's pretty funky for being natural. And again, I'm just going to circle the little parts here. There's no telling how big this stuff is. And again, guys, I feel your frustration, no doubt. I would say this is a good distance off. I don't think it's the way they make it look. 
I don't think it's super far away, like they want you to believe it is. I mean, are these, you know, is it large, small pieces? Regardless, it's still some kind of intelligently made objects sitting right in this photo. And again, what would be the purpose for throwing a grid over it and whiting it out? Again, this is what it looked like. Guys, what are we looking at here? It looks like structure to me. It looks like a bunch of structures laying on a hillside. It looks like something dilapidated and just laying over. It looks like some kind of uh, protective like roofing type thing or design roofing. And it looks like a bunch of little structures underneath. Throw your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. Always appreciate it. And again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell right on the right-hand side of it so that you can get the notifications for the newest videos coming out. Anyway, guys, again, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. So, guys, have yourself a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Hi, this is Billy Carson, and welcome to ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. This is a new streaming network with shows for the entire family. New cooking shows, workshops and lectures from around the world, incredible nature documentaries, science shows that will take you on a journey through the universe and then to wormholes and back down to the smallest quantum states of atoms. Watch Knowledge for Ascension episodes by speakers you know and love. Learn more about your avatar body and how to maximize yourself in the third dimension. Explore your multidimensional self. Explore the nature of our reality. Could we be living in a fractal holographic matrix? And what does that mean for humanity? Delve deep into the mathematical codes that help to create our reality. Watch meditation and yoga videos designed to help you discover the true divine nature of your soul. Explore super ancient text, glyphs, and cuneiform tablets from around the world. Learn their hidden meanings. Tour megalithic structures and watch original, never seen before footage. Is there a ruling elite watching and ruling over humanity? Watch shows designed to elevate human consciousness. Tour the world with Billy Carson and discover amazing wonders. Do we have a secret space program? And if we do, who is behind it all? At ForbiddenKnowledge.tv, you get three days totally free. ForbiddenKnowledge.tv is enlightenment through entertainment.